This is Gemstones and Whiskey, an Outlander podcast. I'm Ashley Alexandra. And I'm Rena Ezra. And this is episode six. We are starting it now. Oh! I'm going to mute that, but you all heard that in the background. <laughs> um, so this is episode six. Last we left off um, in episode five, Claire... Was trying and to find a way. Dougal had a run in. Oh, yes. With the British officer. Oh, right, because this is the garrison commander. Yeah, officer Blue Eyes. I don't know if that. Does he have blue eyes? I think so. He looks like I mean, I'm not going to lie. A lot of the officers are quite attractive. There's one who has not been. <laughs> your face did not seem like you agreed. I can't There's, think of a single other. Oh, my gosh. Do you Ashley, think Jack, Ashley. Jack Black Randall is attractive? <laughs> Um, Blackjack, I, um, not with his behavioral issues. Right, no, okay, no. that's where I think I got confused. No. I was like, I can think of two officers right now, Blue Eyes and There's Blackjack one that Randall. hasn't been introduced yet, a character that I, who oh, is just like, he's he just so sweet. You? He's just so, he, yeah, I just love his face. I really I think like his face. His um, I, ponytail looks like doo doo, and so <laughs> it ruins it for me. Anyway, that's for later. Doo doo man bun. <laughs> but I'm just saying, it's not, no, besides Blackjack, I mean, obviously, it's just like your character matters. Like, obviously, it's a, tra- I, I think the actors, is somewhat attractive. Listen, that's why you But can, that's not who I was thinking. Okay. You can find the British officers attractive. There's I mean, also you're some trailer, villains. but that's there's, fine. <laughs> there's there are also some villains in this show, not Blackjack, but um that I also do that come much, much later in the show, many seasons. Mm, later, I think I know that I think is about. attractive, yeah. Not and my I'm, type, but I could see him for you. <laughs> We'll talk about that more. Okay, thank you. Anyway, um, Claire and Dougal are being escorted to, uh, which place is this? Fort, Fort Williams? Yeah, you got it. <laughs> is that right? I don't think that's right. I think I made it up. <laughs> it sounds right, um, but I'll They're definitely gonna... check. Meet with a head honcho, because again, uh, Officer Blue Eyes is like, hey man, you got a British woman. She seems to be in distress. Mm. I'm not sure what's going on, but let's get to the bottom of this. You're going to come talk to the head honcho. Where does head honcho come from? Okay, know. still looking up that first thing, but I oh, yes. also look that up. <laughs> well, we add it to the list. <laughs> um, head honcho origin. <laughs> uh, also, I've been listening um, back to the episodes that we've released so far, and I realized, I think there's at least two episodes where you've talked about how much you love when horses are in the show. Oh, yeah. And okay, it is like we've lot. never talked about it before, and I didn't realize we, we had at least one other time. You know, I think people think we're probably under the influence when we're we, Oh, we are we're not. sober. <laughs> yeah, we've talked about perhaps... Um, I'm incorporating so yeah. some. Do you want? I can get some stuff right now. Maybe for the next one. Oh, okay. The next episode's a big one. <laughs> um. So. Uh, also, head honcho, um, comes from a Japanese word for group leader. Oh. Am I allowed to use the term? Cho is head, head or now? chief, and Han is like from a corpse or oh. like the squad. I mean. Is it okay? Is squad. that like? I wonder, is that appropriation? Should we not be... I mean, I, I think that? everything's appropriation. You know what? Because <laughs> you're not wrong. A lot of it point. came from immigrants. You're right. A lot of it is from just other cultures. Yeah. Also, America is the melting pot. Absolutely, so. yes. Um, if any of our listeners know whether or not I should stop using that term... Um, yeah, please, please email let us at gemstonesandwhiskey at gmail.com. The important... Get to the important pieces... Thank you. Also, yeah, if you guys haven't checked out the Instagram yet, um, check it. We just released the video. Yes, which is hysterical. Great editing. Also, is that like narcissistic to say? I just said that. It's no, hysterical. No, no, I think. My God, that thing <laughs> I'm in, it's hysterical. I think you should own it when you know you've done something really is it, well. Also, is it weird that I listen to the episodes back? Do no. You do that? Well, no. You, do you usually doubt things that you do? Are you usually in the same? No. <laughs> you no, but like, I'm also not it? usually putting it in recording No, I for think we should listen. All the 
community. To our own stuff. Also for just quality assurance. Yeah. That's, because I, mean, I that's don't. Why. I don't listen to it. Oh, okay. Because I don't like... Who does? Like the sound of your voice? I hate it. I, <laughs> I hate Not yours, mine. <laughs> yes. I hate the sound of your voice. Um... Yeah, I'm like slowly, like I'm, cause I'm already doing, you know, like did two other podcasts. So like, you're yeah. just used to it. Right. I've already gotten very used to seeing myself on camera just yeah. cause I have a production company. And obviously that's that necessary, yet. but don't like it. Well, you looked really good on our, thank you. on our video. I think the cape really completed the outfit. So thank you. It was uh, like my, my favorite is definitely just also the noises that you make when <laughs> you're thinking about Jamie and you're like, mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, uh-huh, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like mm, yes 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 um so claire is in this like commander room or i don't know what to call it with a bunch of red coats right no yes red coats. commander room yes red coats okay yes. i was like is that the right term though mm-hmm. for like their coats are red i know all right but isn't red coat supposed to be like uh it's not british Oh, oh, damn it. Am I sounding dumb? One I, of us is dumb. Not, I hope it's not me. I think we're I'm not both sure. no, stupid. No. Anyway, you know what? You're right. Um, we'll just keep passing the trophy back and forth. Um, anyway, British officers. Okay, keep laughing. And, um, oh, hey, we don't have subtitles on. Um, <laughs> sorry, just add it to the list. Yeah, people, put those subtitles on. <laughs> this is your reminder to put your subtitles on. Um... Yeah, but. it's it immediately like Claire did not know what she was walking into. Neither of them did. Dougal they did not know or yeah. not, that's not true. Well, did Dougal already come across uh Blackjack? Yes. No. They he, don't no before Claire came across oh, Blackjack. I mean, I'm saying like he, he already knows who he, he is. Yes, yeah, right. yeah. But they just This is their first time meeting. Essentially I think Claire's um motivation in like hesitating to be like no I'm fine don't worry about me like leave me alone is Mm -hmm. like one maybe she'll be able to get back to the rocks and get Mm -hmm. back to her husband two these people are kind of brutes you know and she doesn't love the way they're treating her even though she has developed some sense of you mean the scots yeah Mm -hmm. familiarity Uh with them um and she has some relationships that have developed, um, and friendships, let's say, um, with them, but still, I think in her mind, she's like, well, maybe these more civilized, in her mind, people will be able to get me into a better situation. Right. But, again, you know, she's still working with a lie. Yes. So, like, that's super risky to go in now and be talking to a British officer who is, again, just, like, also trying to figure out what your deal is. Um, The officer, though, seems to think he's very charming, and he also seems to think Claire is pretty charming, too. The general, Sir Oliver Lord Thomas. There we go. And you're also correct, it is Redcoats. Okay. On enemy territory. Those are the British. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then obviously they were, they were dining, they were eating right when they came in, right? Yeah, look at that. Yeah. So now they're all sitting down Mm -hmm. sharing a meal, Claire's trying to charm them, um, Dougal has been kind of sent to hang out downstairs while they speak with Claire. Um, Which was also like, he did not want to leave her. No, because I think he knows, I mean, obviously from his experience, he feels like no one should be trusting this group, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So there's that. Um, Even though he doesn't fully trust her, he's still like, we have a common enemy. We still both hate the And (laughs) she is, in some way, an asset to their clan, right? So, and he still hasn't figured her out, and I imagine he would never want to, like, uh, leave that a mystery. Like, I think he wants to figure out what is up with Claire. Mm, so he mm-hmm. wouldn't want to just hand her over to someone mm-hmm. else. Um, but also, let's think about it. I think this is part of the reason why, um, like, the general and everyone else in that room seems, like, very happy to have Claire sitting at yeah. the table. Like, yeah. she's a woman in a room full of men. Yeah. And I think there's probably that element to Dougal's hesitation as well. Oh, no. Now, Brisson, I know, I spoiled that a little early because I thought he was already in the room. It's okay. But, uh, yeah, Blackjack Randall. 
Um, cause of course, I don't know why, when I first watched this episode, like, silly little me, assuming that, like, oh, things are going well, like, yeah, this is gonna be yeah. good, like, what, you know, things are not gonna turn, and then it immediately turns, yeah. and it's like, oh, it gets me every time, I They're don't pretty good at, at playing that game, yeah. where you're like, oh, maybe we'll get to breathe for, like, one maybe episode, it'll work out. and yeah. it'll be fine for, like, two hours. Um, I do also have to say, obsessed with the paint color of those walls. It's like a, <laughs> the, a bluish gray. It's great. Yeah, yes. For like an accent I do wall, like not that. for yes. all the walls. Anyway, and the chairs. Look at the wooden yeah. chairs. So Blackjack Randall is like all dusty. He's coming in from some mission. I forget what it yeah, is. Was so there dirty. something went awry, right? Like someone didn't do their job. Yeah, um, probably. I think and they had to he clean up sees some mess. Claire. Now they're pretending like they don't know each other. And but obviously the Lord is not... Yeah. In, the General's not an idiot. He notices and he sees something. He picks up on it. Um, and Blackjack's making a whole scene, very dramatic, about how dusty he is. Because <clears throat> I think the General said uh, he can't sit at our table all dusty like that. Yeah, he's not presentable. Um, clearly... Blackjack has no friends. Yeah, um, it doesn't leave. <laughs> like, clearly no one at the table likes him at yeah, all. Yeah, he's like at the kid at the lunch table that, I mean, yeah. just, just go away. Yeah, he's like, um, what's his name, Bender from, uh, uh, what's this one? Futurama? No. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, um, you Breakfast can't see Club. me listening, but I'm putting my Breakfast fist in the air and Breakfast Club, yeah. yeah Breakfast That's Club, a- right? <laughs> Is his name Bender? I don't know. It's very unlikely I would be right in two. <laughs> hey, you're right about two red times coats. in one episode. You're right about red coats. Um. Yeah. It, it, so it's very clear that the general and uh, Blackjack Randall do not get along, and they're each trying and you're right. to His kind name is John of, Bender. It is. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Wow. I did have to look it up. Deep cut. Sure. Deep cut. Look at you. Um, so Blackjack and the General are like going at each other in like a very British way, obviously, where they're like still being proper. Yeah. <clears throat> I, like, I, I just think it's like, well, he, but the, like the thing is too, though, he does hold a high position blackjack randall yes but not higher than the general right? no true yes true um and but I, guess, he, I still feel like he he just gets away with so much where like yeah. sometimes i think even back then like I'm, like people obviously yeah we're not held accountable for shit and obviously that went on for very very long for right. centuries and how things were still able to happen but um yeah, like, I, I don't know, sometimes, like, when I'm watching this show, I'm just like, damn, this shit probably, like, like actually happened back then, where, like, things, like, 100%. people, like, just, uh, you know, 10th yeah. well, level torch, uh, like, just different things, yes. or people not following orders, or, like, yes. things just getting out of hand, because people are not uh, civilized, and you're supposed to be civilized, especially the British people are holding some kind of, um, yeah. you know, a persona, but it, it's, yeah... I think, too, specifically with Blackjack and why he's able to get away with a lot of stuff is, like, the role he's in is, like, basically in charge of overseeing and managing, like, the, um, like, raids or Mm. the rounds, right? So, Mm. like... I feel like he is calling the shots on a very local level, mm. and then when you put him in a situation like this, where there's someone who's a little higher up, but also doesn't know the ins and outs of, like, the day-to-day yeah, true. Um, dynamics yep. of what Blackjack's doing, like, mm-hmm. so I think that's where the tension comes in for him, Sure. and then also, sure. too, like you said, just the ability to do whatever you want, like... If you're kind of removed from checks and balances, Mm -hmm. yeah, you're going to do whatever you want to do and, like, run your team however you want to run it. 
And but he and he also and the other part is like he is definitely um, sadistic. Like he definitely oh, likes stirring up for trouble. Sure. Like yeah, yeah, he's obviously just you know psychologically messed no, up. No, there's something very wrong. Yeah, with so, him. but that combination is dangerous. That's what I mean. Yes. Yeah, to have yeah. access mm-hmm. to yeah. live that out yeah. is yeah, the right. problem. Yeah. yeah. Um. And now Claire's like defending the Scots yeah. in front of this room full mm-hmm. of British officers, which um, I think. Blackjack definitely led her to that. Mm-hmm. He was kind of prodding her and coaxing her into that situation. And now... The general probably thinks she's, she's like brainwashed. Yeah. Well, I think it just has given him and everyone else at that table a little pause to be like, yes. why are you defending... Yes. So hard. To, yeah. Right mm-hmm. now, you're a British woman. Mm-hmm. We're trying to protect you and save you. Mm-hmm. Um, why are you speaking well of them? Like, Because, I mean, it does seem too like... They, for the most part, especially the higher ups, like they seem to have the attitude that, especially like Highlands clansmen are like so beneath them mm. and like almost like creatures, right? Like not yeah. like real people. Like literally the dirt they walk on. Like they do not value. Yeah, and of course her loyalty to the king is like being questioned. Yeah. Now because she's trying to pedal back and it's just like, uh, uh-uh, you just said what you said. Right. And now they got interrupted. Um, there's ambushes going on. So they all gotta get up and head out of there. <sighs> and that's, uh, that means Claire's gonna be left alone with Blackjack Randall. Mm. Oh no, wait. I'm so sorry. I no, 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 but you no, no, no. This keeps. I just ahead. There's a wounded man downstairs from the ambush, and Claire has to go heal him. But yeah, it's not done yet, though. Yeah. It's not, yeah. And Dougal's like, "Yo, are you okay? I saw Randall head up there. Uh-huh. I'm like, what's going on?" Yeah. And she's like, "I'm fine. I gotta go to work." <laughs> yes. <laughs> Seriously. She's like working all the different parts of her brain, like having to have these like be coy or be clever yeah. and having these uh conversations with paying playing the game of politics oh you mean or live playing... as a woman <laughs> <laughs> sorry yes <laughs> yes yes exactly yes <laughs> and then also switching her brain to like do the job that she's you know as a medic and do like uh yeah no that's for sure um oh uh-huh. like again yeah look at all oh, this right. blood I was getting you i forgot uh-huh. rena's very I mean, I'm not like, (laughs) I'm not super queasy, but then you look at it and you're like, it just looks so real. Yeah, I guess. I mean, they did a great job. Yeah, go, go uh, costume department, makeup and wonderful. Um, I will say I get a little queasy when I think about them, um, like operating on me with the tools of the time that's uh, where i start to get a little queasy because like, they're dirty you're gonna take a handsaw mm, yes to my yeah. shin um, oh my god yeah because you gotta cut oh through that's that literally bone. what's happening mm-hmm. right now uh i was just using that as an example um, this is his arm right oh yeah yikes Ugh. Not and he's pleasant. just biting down on something. A piece of wood. That's not enough. She she's she just she just why did she come back? I That's see. my question. Why did she come back to the room? I don't know. Clear like that. What? Unless maybe she didn't realize that everyone else had rushed out because she was just focusing on like she, then just leave. Where where is in. like you know your Scotsman? Where she like did well, you forget something? Did you forget your purse? Like what, <laughs> what did you come back for? Did you forget your satchel? <laughs> um. So there's Blackjack Randall just getting a good old shave from. A very private, uh, just another. Oh my God! Yeah. Yeah. This must be so hard. So they flash back when she's giving Frank a shave with the same exact razor. Yeah. Because again, Blackjack Randall is Frank's ancestor. Oh, that's two hundred year old so razor. Weird. Yeah. Oh no. That's so weird. It must be a really good razor. I mean, <laughs> so, someone's got to say sharp. Figure I out <laughs> Mach five. We got to figure out what. Uh, uh yeah. This 
color shape naturally rechargeable <laughs> on their secret yeah damn that is really really weird um that would yeah take my head for a spin like that's yeah god there's so many things see i just like have to be reminded of that she's mentally fighting through i know it's hard for me to remember because um i would immediately forget about frank if i met jamie freezer <laughs> so it's hard for me to remember that like that's a thing i'm just kidding by the way no 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 but like to your point we were not given a lot of time in the beginning we not, of the season no. to really spend time with Frank. And we spend way more time yeah. with Blackjack. So it is like I don't know. I when I see him I'm just like I'm like, oh yeah, like I like red flags going up, you're like totally a villain. Yeah. I'm not comfortable when like you're in a room, yada yada. But she's had a marriage with Frank. She's had like you're right. yeah. I think Frank's time. just not my type. He's very yeah, no, cerebral like, and like yeah. not mm -hmm. exciting. I mm -hmm. think that's why. Oh my gosh. The it's not even with Jamie is so Yeah, yeah. like I wanna be very clear, it's not just about Jamie's looks. Like obviously, yes, he's a very attractive man. But I, what makes Jamie so great is like the emotional piece. Yes. And like yeah. he's funny. Yeah. You know, Frank I don't think The Frank charm. Is jokes. the charm is of yeah, no, yeah, that's so true. Frank can definitely be one Just note. Like, of, yeah. Frank is like, he seems like a yeah. wet blanket. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, Frank. Um, well, Blackjack is not. <laughs> you're right. He's um, got a different kind of fire just burning up inside him. So he, like, turned the razor on the, I don't know who did, Private or yeah, whatever his title chap. is, mm -hmm. um, who was shaving him. And now he's like again playing a little cat and mouse game with Claire. Um, he does this thing with Claire where he. Also, why did he pour all the wine out the window and then drop it? Like, why did you do that? I missed it. There was you just wasted. So oh, much I think because the um, the general really likes it, and so he was like. Yeah, let me show you how much I care about the general. Yeah, that was clear. Yeah, like he does not so. Like I think it. that was supposed to show Claire that like he's like no one controls me. I'm not afraid of anyone. Yeah, me. yeah. He's only looking out for numero uno. Yeah, um, but he does this interesting thing with Claire where like I think it's partially strategic and also genuine. Um, where he seems to see her as like an intellectually almost equal. Mm. Um, like he definitely, I don't know, I think he makes the hairs on the back of his neck stand up a little bit. Mm. Where he knows that she's not dumb, he knows that there's something going on. And that challenge. she is very smart and composed, yet he does know that he is smarter than her, right? But he does this good, a very, very interesting technique where, like, I think it's a way to lull her into, com like, a comfort, like mm. a feeling of comfort where she thinks, he thinks she's highly capable. Mm-hmm. And then she gets a little cocky, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That like, oh, they're sharing a moment. There, she can get through to him because she, she knows how to connect on that level. Yeah. And then he goes, you know, it's just full a psycho. facade. Yeah, it's like it's fake, all a game. But he plays it so yes. well. Like he knows very well. Like the the yeah, just the mind games that he. I think that's a... He does... Oh, man. Is that a sociopath? The per, Like, the person who understands everyone's motives and knows exactly how to present themselves. And he has no remorse. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes, so, I think instead of a psychopath. Yes. I mean, I think he's also kind of a psychopath yes, as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think there is a difference there. There's the people who can like consciously strategize um, their interactions 
with people. Okay, so this is interesting what we're talking about him kind of having both. I don't know. Let me, I'll give you the um, definitions of okay. the differences between sociopath and psychopath. So psychopaths tend to be more manipulative, can be seen by others as more charming, oh. lead a semblance of a normal life, and minimize risk in criminal activities. Mm. But he is definitely like... So he is manipulative, black yeah. for sure, but sociopaths tend to be more erratic, rage prone, and unable to lead as much of a normal life. So A, he obviously doesn't lead a normal life being in But I think he does. Military. I don't know. I don't think it's normal for him seeing this, well, it's different because the state that they're in and back in the day, like yeah, the time yeah, yeah. period and the location, but for him being around so much uh, that I'm sure he inflicts a lot of but like death and torture and like he has a lot of anger and rage obviously which which that's why but his character's he so complex it. He yeah but it and he plays it like that is true people. yes yes but I it is a, i think it's just a mix at different times i don't know because i was gonna say uh, like not specifically i'm not gonna say here because there are other <laughs> treats that, you know, uh, listeners, if you're listening, you haven't seen the rest of season one yet. Other things that we find out about his character that give more context and explanation as to why he yes has that anger and the why he, the, why the, he is the way he is, yeah. which was very like that. Oh my gosh. Just when we get to that. I episode, know. It, it's just very, again, yeah. kudos to their writing. Very good for how like certain, not the specific event. No, 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 about, I know. But like, um, instances like the interactions he's had with Claire, like leading up to it, making you think like, oh, he's just another one of these guys. Right. And you're just like, wait a minute. No, he has like so much more emotional torture inflicted on himself. I'm just, like other shit that he's going through yeah. during that time period. But, um, I know. I, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Because, he's, because listen, being in the military is a very normal job for the time period, like honorable job. But right? you're seeing so much shit. Yeah. But I mean, that's, the yeah. time yeah you know so like honorable and he has made it up the ranks right yes. like yeah and you'll see so he can seem composed in yeah like an outdoor yes and he knows like yeah how and when to compose himself yeah. plus i don't think the disgusting stuff with war numbs him has numbed him i think he kind of rebel i think he oh, enjoys yes, it yes yeah. he thrives in it. i mean that's why he's drawn to it yeah. Um, yeah, because there are certain things he does not need to do. <laughs> like, does it's not necessary, yes, and correct. he just does them, and you're like, oh. Yeah. So um, yeah, Claire's um almost in tears, or she is tearing up, but we don't see any tears down her face yet. But um, he's he oh man, he like just gets under her skin. Which again, Claire, honey, why did you sit down? Why leave? Why? What are you yeah. doing? You sat back at the table. Nobody else is in this room but you and Blackjack. What is happening here? I the door is right there. I feel like sometimes this is a horror movie, and you just want to like yell at her yeah. and you're like, "Get up!" I oh can't remember. She's probably just frightened and glued to her Oh, interesting. the way she got here was different. Mm. But I can't remember if I'm guessing he was. Um, oh my God, so now so he's like, again, trying to like <laughs> lull Claire into this false sense of security where like he's drawing her. He's seeming to like be trying to connect to her on the emotional level to get the information out of her. Mm -hmm. Kind of like, oh, sure, I believe what you're saying to me. Tell me more. Mm -hmm. And Claire's trying to resist it, but, again, he's just... He's trying, trying Wait, to let's back her. up a bit, because yes. we were oh, obviously got on a tangent. No, 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 it's good. <laughs> just for clearing up for me and the listeners. Um... Trying to get the name of 
her husband? Yes. Right? I think so, yeah. So did she just, because I was like looking at you, not looking at the screen, and I have not seen this episode in a while, um, she was just telling him like the truth? Like how she literally got here? Did she no, say no, every? No, no, oh. No, 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 no. No, I think she was okay, sharing. I thought I missed something. No, no, no. She was kind of, again, in sticking to her partially true slash made up story and he's trying to pry further and oh, she oh, was oh, going for the lie. emotional thing oh, to, be, to kind of shut down the conversation yes and so then he was like well how about i sit down and draw you which is a kind of a good drawing and continue to try and get this information out of you kind of to break her walls down i think because it was probably unexpected and she's now seeing him as a person a little bit more. Um, Got you. So, also, she's trying to get to Inverness, which Blackjack's just like, okay, you're trying to do this. I don't believe, like, you're still lying and shit. Also, <laughs> which, you know, nothing really seems to go by him. He already knows that Dougal is um, raising, like, the Jacobite. Uh, yeah, so cause, he's Inverness, asking like, about he's, the Jacobite. Yeah efforts and she's like I don't know what you're talking about and he obviously doesn't believe her oh raise funds that's what I was thinking but yeah, yeah raise funds for the rebellion yeah um so she's just like no I have never heard about any of that joke about who joke about what that are you talking about and Claire's like, hey, wait a second. Am I under arrest? Because I'm not going to stay here in this interrogation. So then why and did then she shut back down? down? Oh my god. Bitch, I can't. Oh my god. I don't think this episode got me this frustrated so the first time I saw it. I think she's thinking, let me just wait it out till Lord Thomas gets back. Because she's like, I had him where I wanted him almost. Like, I know I can get him to help me, kind of. Um, I think she, so you, you think like Claire is just trying to win this conversation. Like she really thinks she can I think she's it. trying to buy time and wait till Lord Thomas gets back because she knows that Lord Thomas outranks him. But then why does she have to wait? Like, cause she can't just leave. <laughs> no, I guess not. The door's open by the way. They didn't I know, it. but now she's a little stuck, I guess. Ugh. I don't she can know. be like, hey, I Google. get what you're saying. Um, and now she's talking about the story Jamie told her. She didn't say that it was Jamie, mm. but she's like, you know, they talk at Castle Leoch about how you gave a man a hundred lashes and then a hundred more. And, um, he's he, like, who, he me? Yeah, but I did that. Like, um, yeah, like he, he, Blackjack knows exactly but also who that so who the Highlander boy is. Stupid. Like, he knows exactly like great. Him. Now he yeah. knows exactly where Jamie is. Yes. And like yeah, you from idiot. previous episodes. Oh my god. Jamie's like, hey, no one's supposed to know where I am. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. And look god. at how he lights up. Blackjack like lights up at the memory of ugh, Yeah, he looks back Jamie. at his fondly for sure. Yeah. And he's saying that Mackenzie saw it happen. Oh man. Oh, Jamie. Oh my god. And he was just la um Oh my god. Lashed a bunch. Yeah. Um when he went to uh Wally Brock. Um, um mm -hmm. Oh my god. He's, he's like so salivating. Fresh. Yeah, when he licks his like yeah. Oh. Yep. Blackjack Randall's like salivating when Jamie takes his shirt off. I mean, I can't blame him. <laughs> yeah, it's those like, it's those little things that Ugh. the actors do for that character that it's like, yeah, he's enjoying this on a different level. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh he just presses it. <laughs> We're just making noises now. <laughs> Presses his back with his little. I don't even know what that it's is. The handle the of his, of oh, his nine oh. tails. The handle of the. Oh my gosh. He asked him if he's scared, and Jamie says. 
<laughs> I'm gonna just I'm gonna freeze before you finish talking. And I mean, might as well get it over with. Oh, I'm gonna break you. Takes his jacket off. Ugh. I don't like this part. See, like this is what I don't like. Like it's not the blood and gore. It's like I don't like to watch someone be beaten. That, yes, I agree with like, that. Yeah, yeah. That, that is, makes me. Cringe. It's not fun. There's no zero satisfaction from from this. This was definitely. Yeah, hard, I mean, pff, people, you just just wait and see what our cringe factor is gonna be for this episode. Um, and so his stomach flutter and his yeah. legs shake like wow. So Ugh. blackjack's like again like being genuine. Like he is talking about how he like enjoyed it like he's essentially confessing to Claire like yeah I liked it yes and I don't think he would say that to other people do you know what I mean like mm. he wouldn't admit that to other people because then they know something about him you know what I mean well like, why do you think he admits it to Claire because I think he recognizes something in Claire. Like, but do you, do you, here, well, here's my question. Do you think Blackjack knows that Claire likes Jamie? No, because at this point, he just found out that Jamie's at the when castle. Right, so she doesn't, he so didn't know she was spending time with Claire. I her, think right. it's a thing True. where this guy carries True. around all this stuff that he doesn't think is wrong, right? Like, he doesn't have remorse for it. But he knows that it's deviant. Mm. And I think... I think... I don't know, and I sometimes I feel like I'm kind of that person, too, where people just share things with me. But, like, I don't know. I think mm. some people just bring that out in other people. Mm. Um, and Claire's a welcoming face. <laughs> yeah, and I think that's, or like this energy, I don't know. So I think, I it think is, he just categorizes Claire as different than most people. Yes. And there's an intelligence factor, I mm -hmm. think, that he recognizes in her. And so, plus, th oh, this, plus the though, skin, I don't this like. is kind of like his little um, secret. Yeah. I guess you say he revels in or whatever, but he also yes, knows because Claire this is a whole has other level. a secret and Claire has like obviously there's a so I think that's the thing too, that not only like her intelligence and someone like he just opens up to her or whatever, but it's just like, yeah, I'm telling you my dirty shit. I enjoy doing this. Yes. And this is like when I'm recalling it, my memory, blah 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 blah. And like if she were to say anything, do anything. Also, I like yeah, I don't know. Like, he knows she's got some stuff, too, that she's not divulging. Oh, my God. Look at yeah, that. So I, think, just fainted. I think it's that tactic yeah. of, well, how about I share with you and then you share with me. And I think he knows that it has to be a genuine thing that he's sharing. Because mm -hmm. Claire will know whether or not it is it's genuine. Not, yeah, and if it's yeah, not yeah. genuine, yeah. she's not going to feel inclined to reciprocate. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh god, this is just such a horrendous scene. No He's one's still enjoying it. Jamie. Still Everyone's gasping and covering their eyes. Crying, bowing their heads, not looking. People, ugh. Ugh. He's like hanging yeah, off J of ugh. the, the uh, Jamie's in real wooden beam shape. now. He's not even standing anymore. Yeah, of course they all saw the hair, you horror, you crazy man. Yeah, he's like, they couldn't see the beauty. Oh, what a psycho. <laughs> um, also, I can't figure out how they made his eyes look so much more close together as Blackjack. What do you mean? The eye Frank? Frank? Yeah. What? You never noticed Their that? Their eyes... I feel Are like different? his eyes look much more close together, but I also can't figure out 
why i think his nose it could be, be ooh, a it could different. be a little that's so interesting i've never noticed that yeah and I it could be a little green piece cloth whatever they put on there so that they can digitally could be uh change, i don't know affect, like change his face it's just so interesting yeah hmm wow um claire's crying listening to that horrific tale of course and he said, see? Also, that's another thing that I forgot about, too. He is, in a way, a man of his word. Right? So he said, see, I revealed myself to you. You can tell that that was a genuine story. Right? And now... That's true. Yeah. You tell me your thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and that, that concept will come into play <laughs> later on in the series, too. Um, where he's a man of his word. Yeah. If not yeah. else. Yeah. And Claire's now trying to be like, you could change. Like, <sighs> you could be different. Or like, you know, it's probably because you have things that you have to work through. Right? She's essentially <laughs> like, if you had therapy, I think you'd, <laughs> yeah. you'd be adjusting better. You just need a lot, a, a lot of hours of therapy. You just need a journal yeah your stuff you need a um you've got mommy issues or something yeah yeah like you can't i'm sorry claire no like it says the darkness has grown within me yeah i don't think that's ever gonna subside he hates the very world itself right so that's what i love any coming back from that so i Oh my god, like he has some of the best lines though in this show because with the information we'll find out later in this season, what he's saying now, where he hates the world for like the world itself, like this hatred, darkness growing within, well, like whatever, whatever, what he's specifically referring to when we find out what that is, it's just like, oh my gosh, okay, so much more of an understanding as to you're like you're like why does he hate the world so much like what do you mean dark what is it blah 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 and it's just like holy moly um i uh, yeah i literally can't imagine uh being in his shoes because there is probably so much that he's had to deal with and <laughs> none of it none of it he manifested into anything positive um he, it's just literally destroyed him and it's just like engulfed his entire being yeah and he essentially is like i'm not gonna recognize who i've <laughs> become like i don't know she's like it's not too late to win back your give it humanity. up claire give it up you can make better choices <laughs> and he's like e again this is what this is where i think he's playing yes him, right yes like this is where he starts coming out of yeah. the like being very honest and real with her yeah where he's like, oh, you think? You think yeah. I could change? She's like, I do. Yeah, insight and self-knowledge. I think you have it in you. He's like, I believe. Wow. The rehabilitation yeah. of he's Black like, Jack. Wow, I could see it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's like a drug addict where he's just like, nah, I'm gonna steal money in your purse and get mad. Oh my like, gosh. I'm not. Oh. I'm not. Betterhelp.com. They're not a <laughs> they're not a sponsor okay. yet, but but they should be. Oh man, if there ever were Mental health is very important. Oh yeah. No, for sure. For sure. They didn't even know what mental health was back then. Yeah. That? Well, and it's interesting too though, because one of the things Claire said was like, you wouldn't be the first man changed by combat. So like, even in her time versus Blackjack's time, like, yeah. there's a little more of an understanding at yeah, least that like, that yeah, parallel. this is an experience yeah. that really changes you. Mm -hmm. And that's, it's not always something you have control over yes. like or there's not something that you should necessarily have shame for because she's been changed by it yeah but frank having the position not being on the battlegrounds like hasn't but he's also been like changed by war and everything but not changed in that way yeah oh, and he, he punches, punches her, her in right in the stomach, stomach. And oh. she cannot breathe. That one was a shocker. I did not see that coming when he said yeah, that. I was that, just like, oh! Yeah, that was a lot. And he says, I dwell in darkness, madam, and darkness is where I something. Belong. Thank you. 
Yeah, um, I, I didn't so think he's, he's like, going to go straight to physical violence. He's like, you walked right into my trap. Yeah. You think, like, I think also this is a moment where he goes, if you think you see weakness in me, I will prove you wrong. Yeah, and she, she just, like, knowing that she was very naive mm -hmm. now and knowing she got played hard. Yeah. I'm hoping that she takes this uh, knowledge and, and like, remembers not to fall for this shit in the future. This is where it's, like, so disgusting. Yeah. Blackjack's like, hey, kid, to, like, the young yeah. private or whatever. Mm -hmm. He's like, come over here and kick this woman in the stomach. And he's like, what? And he's like, kick her harder. Mm -hmm. And the poor kid's like, okay. Oh, yeah. gosh. Yeah, this is Ugh. not um, Mel Brooks' scene in Blazing Saddles where they beat up an old woman and that was just like, haha, -ha, light and funny scene <laughs> in the movie. Like, this is like serious. Like, they're kicking this poor woman on the ground. Everyone's a big, the kid doesn't even enjoy it. Yeah, where have you been, Dougal McKenzie? No, actually, I think the kid enjoyed it a little bit the sec. He went to go do it a second time. I think oh I think it was no you might be right I'm just you saying I think there right. was a little hint of something anyway Dougal comes in to save the day uh some British soldiers come in with guns and Dougal's like hey man first of all you just beat up a woman yeah, so there's right. that don't make me lose my temper. Second of all, like, this is my land, man. Like, you're on my land. Unless you want to start an entire war, we'll raise the clans against you right here, right now, mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. You're going to let us go. And he wants to keep her here. Or Black, Blackjack wants to keep her here for further questioning. I was a little worried. I was just like, oh my god, is she actually going to stay here? And he's not going to, like, oh my god. See, like, whatever, you know, oh. they make you think about the Scottish or the clans, like, they do not act the way Blackjack acts. And, like, she, I would feel so much more. Yeah. I'd be like, yeah, take me, Dougal. Take me home. And Blackjack's like, all right, you can go, but uh, you're going to bring her back to Fort William tomorrow um, because we got more questions for her. Yeah. Well, like, he said. Yeah, okay. He said like you're um, harboring. Oh, what did he just say? A uh, fugitive. Yes, thank you, fugitive. Yeah. So obviously now Dougal knows that Blackjack knows that Jamie is with them. Is with the clan and like where now he's Thanks, aware about Claire. This. Yeah. So that's not that's uh, not cool. So Claire it's another worry. Dougal hit the road Dude, look at on that. their horses. Look at those mountains. Look at that view. Yeah, not a great reason, but um, very beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Um, basically, they just like rode and rode and rode, and they rode really hard, and then finally, Dougal's like, "All right." Um, so they did go grab straight some to the water campsite. Uh, he's like, come down here. There's like a lake or something down here. Yeah, like, I mean, this also is a real place. Is yeah, so gorgeous. This, uh, so yeah, Dougal this drinks a real river from the creek, and then Claire drinks. <laughs> You're giving from the a creek. Flea bite light. <laughs> and she's like, whoa, it's a. Uh, little stinky. I love how it says a wet your thrapple. It's sulfur water. <laughs> and Dougal pulls a dagger that he hides behind his back and he's like, alright, I'm gonna ask you again. Are you a spy? You a spy for the French or the English or what? She's like, this again? <laughs> he's like, I, I promise it's the last time I'm gonna ask you. And she's like, yo, I'm not a spy. Stop asking me. But her hair looks so good. I know so good. <laughs> so good she's, she's just like beaten. are we good can you are you gonna stop asking me for real like i'm tired of saying i'm nobody yeah which is true she's not a and spy and like yeah that's fine <laughs> <laughs> puts oh his God. dagger back in and she's like whoa wait a second um and he's like i love it he's like i wouldn't yeah. have liked it you're a handsome woman <laughs> like, um and he's like, well, yeah, I was going to kill you if you said you were a spy. He's like, but 
Um, I believe you. You said you weren't. And uh, you drank from this spring. And uh, rumor has it, if you drink from the spring, you got to tell the truth or uh, else your throat burns. Uh, like, literally, like, dissolves. He says, burn your gizzard out. Yeah, and she's like... A magical spring. That's what's finally going to make you believe I'm not a spy. Which, fun fact, um, I don't think humans have a gizzard anymore. We evolved to no longer have a gizzard. So that's why it's interesting that here he's like, you have a gizzard. What even is a gizzard? I <laughs> so, just thought it was another word for throat. <laughs> um, that's, mm, no, no, that's a good one. That is possible that he <laughs> did also mean that as another word, but like chickens, or like a turkey has a yeah. gizzard, and that's able to... Um, break down like hard, uh, just hard material, like stuff oh, that we don't it's like bone, like, like rocks or okay, something. Okay. Bone, like yeah, something like that. Yeah, like a vulture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Um, yeah, but we do not. Gotcha. Um, have that. Um, um, also, so Dougal just uh, Dougal's basically like, listen, Blackjack wants you back tomorrow, and the there's only one way I can stop that from mm-hmm. happening, and that is for you to marry. A Scott. And she's like, oh, what? First of all, in this moment, she already she knows she's already married, right? She still hasn't given up the idea of getting uh-huh. back to her yeah. husband. To Frank, yep. Like, what? But also in this moment, I'd be like, yeah, fine, whatever. Like... But she was, at first she was just like, wait, you? Do you have to be yeah. you? Which also, <laughs> like, I'm sorry, out of all the men in the clan... Not the worst one. No, I think he would be quite good in bed. I think they're all probably quite good in bed. Absolutely, and also he's away for so much of the time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Exactly. You won't have to, like, he's busy. Exactly. He's going to get bored of you, and you're not going to have to spend that much time with him. Yes. Anyway, he goes, no, not me, um, Jamie. And the rest of us go... Wow. I was actually really surprised because I was like, well, you just made this whole story very easy. Like, I thought it wouldn't be that simple. If for her to marry, like, it would be someone that she would get along with less. Yes, and uh, I almost yeah. would, I think that's the part that I'm a little like, hmm, about. Because yeah. I would think Dougal, if anything, would purposefully have it be with someone who's not hiding from everybody like yeah why well, and who's, who's like who that he knows she would never want to marry so like to torture her a little bit and also like well maybe he didn't want to torture her torture her so that she could finally like chill and not stir up trouble I because when know. she doesn't like something she doesn't shut the fuck up i guess and i guess the bottom line is like he pretty much thinks, like, no one's going to marry Jamie because of the situation he's in. True. So, like, might as well marry them both. But I did think it was interesting, like, ha- okay, so you tell Blackjack that she's married, but also do you tell her who he's who married she's married to? to? Like, yeah. how do they get out of that? that and you wouldn't nice. want him to know that it's yeah. Jamie. Like, that's just where I'm a little confused. Anyway, Jamie goes... <laughs> Yeah. Claire goes, hey, are you're just like fine with this whole thing? And he's yeah. like, yeah, I mean, I have no other prospects. Like, no one's gonna want me. <laughs> and he's like, are, are like you're not okay with it? And she's like, I don't know. Aren't are you like, I'm not a virgin. Like, are you? Does that bother you? And he's like, no. As long as it doesn't bother you that I am yeah. Jamie Fraser Smoke Show, a virgin. <laughs> I mean, good for yeah. him. <laughs> and she is clearly taken aback. Which I'm surprised. I'm surprised it's not a virgin. It seems like these cl- everybody just like hundred like messing with everybody. Like how are you not? Well, they just had just, to make him pure as possible. I mean, honestly, Jamie most likely wouldn't even need to use words. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> he, he just shows up. up. If he just I shows was up, yeah. a lonely he just looks at you, yeah. milkmaid girl, whatever <laughs> it is, and he just looked at me, I'd be like, yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, lonely milkmaid girl. Do you, do you know what I mean? Like, if my job is to like pick the fruit, oh yeah, and here comes Jamie, and he just looks at me, I'd be like. Where did my clothes go? Yes. Yeah. Where did my clothes go? <laughs> How did I get over this table? <laughs> so I just yeah, very. But 
as we'll come to know, and I guess it does probably hint to the fact that Jamie, you know, cares about honor and integrity, yes. mm -hmm. and um, those are important values to him. Sure. And so that's why sure. he has not had sex yet. Which sure. is great. Nothing wrong with that. That's Nothing beautiful. wrong at all. Everyone should do things Nothing. at their Claire own Claire is blessed. Place. Yes. That she... Oh boy, <laughs> is she. Um, which leads us to our next episode. So um, this is the end of episode five. Um, we are going to now... We're going to go into the scoring section. A uh, reminder for our categories, steaminess, plot, feminine power, costume slash set, and cringe factor. So, um, oh man, steaminess. I don't know if I'm ranking that so high. <laughs> it's a lot more of cringe. <laughs> I, okay, I'm going to give steaminess a two, only yeah. because like just that moment alone of like, Jamie being like, I don't mind that you're a virgin as long as you don't mind that I am, mm -hmm. is like, what? Yeah, yeah. And then it made my mind think things. <laughs> <laughs> then your mind went places. Um, I'm going to give Steamy as a one. Okay, that's fair. I think two is high, but yeah. I, I went for it. Plot, um, though. I'm definitely going to give plot... Man, I, um, mm, I'll go five. I'll go five. I'll go all the way. Yeah, that's good. Just because there was so much with that um, couple things. One with the, uh, it just got me, but like with the razor and her flashback yeah. and he was using the whole parallels with Blackjack and Frank. And then, of course, the entire scene where they're sitting in the dining room. And Black Jack, Black Jack is recounting his memory of lashing Jamie and him. Basically, that was a whole wealth of information about Black Jack's character and deep into his core, really finding out what's making this guy tick. Yeah. Um, and that was just that was just huge. And then him finding out that he knows where Jamie is now. Thanks again, Claire. And of course, at the end, now that Claire has to you know, wed somebody, and yeah. it's going to be Jamie. These are all pretty heavy hitters. Um, I gave it a four, only because I do feel like there were some um, holes in the logistics of the majority, like that initial scene, essentially, or whatever of them in that, like, dining room. Oh. Like, again, why isn't she getting up to leave? Yeah. Why would she tell Dougal to make himself scarce? Like, That's why I'm giving the interruption power. of, yeah. like, uh, it just, yeah, I'm like, meh. I, I see what you're And I remembered, sorry, just because I said it earlier in the episode, I remembered that um, this episode pretty much does not happen in the books. Ah, uh, that's a huge difference. Yes. Wow. I'm almost certain. Because I think it goes right to a future episode. I oh, think. wow. I could be wrong. Wow. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm skipping a beat. I'm not sure. Um, but okay. that's why, yeah, when she, like, stayed there and didn't, like, get up and leave, which, like, yes, there probably could have been things that, like, were holding her there, and then, like, also, obviously, if she didn't stay, that entire scene wouldn't pan out. Yeah. <laughs> that's why we scripted that one. Yeah. <laughs> but for, like, all that stuff with Blackjack, blah, 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 whatever. Um, I do want to give Feminine Power, uh, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm a little conflicted on this one. I do want to rate it high, because she dealt with it all like the fact that she got punched in the stomach got kicked by that kid was able to stand there and still try to even though it was ridiculous but still try to be like no you can be a good person um blackjack you can blah 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 but then i want to give it a low ranking because like it was just like what are you doing you were just like totally mentally and physically beaten in this episode it did not seem like strength was on your side so I'll give it a two. I am also giving it a two because this is probably the most we've seen Claire be essentially like a victim of circumstance, yes. right? Like she had no power. She held her own the best she could, yeah. but she was being interrogated 
Um, she was being beat up. Mm -hmm. She's forced to enter this marriage agreement, mm -hmm. right? Like at no point while Claire was managing and surviving, at no point was she in control yes. of the situation. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. So two for the effort that she put in for sure. Um, but costume and set. Um, was there anything really different? So that we saw in this episode, I'm gonna give a four strictly for Jamie's back. <laughs> yeah, the peeling of the skin. You like, mentioned before that was mm, yeah, yeah. Like also the dude thing. in the down downstairs where Claire had to like, or they yeah. were severing off his arm. Yeah, yeah. and also for I'll give it a three. Um, Blackjack's eyes. Oh, yo, yeah. Looking I, very close. Very interesting. I'm going to have to go back and do some, like, comparison, like, photo and I photograph. love the color of the walls, so, of course, it's a four. <laughs> uh, you said you were giving it what? I'll give it a three. Okay. Uh, yeah, cringe. I'm I'm going to go... Uh, I wouldn't do... Just because I know what's happening in the future. No, you can't but go But I have to do that. based off of this, yes. right? So I'll, I'll give it... Uh, I'll give it a five... Yeah. Like, obviously, for the uh, reasons that we explained that made us uncomfortable as we were watching it, but also the air in the room that I'm just imagining or mm -hmm. feeling between Blackjack and Claire, where the uncertainty for me is what made me cringe a lot, where like, oh, 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 it's going to be good, the conversation, oh, oh, she's going to get out of it, oh, 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 and it twists, it turns, and then it yeah. runs back up like, oh, no, 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 it's okay, it's going to be fine, it's going to be, and then something else happens, like, that was a, like a roller coaster. Yeah, I also gave it a five, like, full five, um, unfortunately, if anyone's listening and they haven't watched the rest of season one yet, just know that your description, or your definition of what a five is... Is going to change, oh, yeah. but as of right now, full oh, yeah. five. Maybe we'll punched. break out of the one to five. <laughs> I mean, anything is possible. Um, so I gave it a 17. You gave it, I think, a 16. If my math is correct, we never really know. Um, so we have a total of 33 for this episode. Um, thank you all so much for joining us on our sixth episode Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, listen, Instagram, Spotify. Yes. Um, also, is it 16 the score? Do I make it a deduct? Remember. What? Oh, wow. It's not. Yeah. I'm bad at math. Don't listen to me. <laughs> Wait, back it up. So I gave it a 12. So mine's 6. My final score is 6. Yeah, because I had 11, then deducted 5 for cringe. Wait, did I? Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, and once again, yeah, we'll be compiling all this in a spreadsheet. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Yes. And we'll be back on our next episode. It's a big episode. It is. It's it is. the it's wedding okay. episode. So don't so. miss it. <laughs>